Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a, I guess, a douched connector, or how to, how to, uh, how to pin one up, I guess, or I don't know, uh, how to how to install one. We'll go with that. So I'm only using three of these wires, not four, because the fourth one I do not need. So. I'm using the red, the black, and the green. And, uh... You need some specialty type of tooling and stuff for this. So, here is... the wiring. Let's get that out of the way. I guess I could have put this on first. It probably would have made it a little easier. So let's see. I gotta see what I need for my plug. So there's my plug. I need red over here in the upper right corner. I need black next to it. I need one. I need the green underneath. All right. Let me see. Just make sure red, red, yep. Black, black. And green. So that'll plug in. This like this. Alright, so I'll slide the seal down and then we'll oh, I guess I don't have to pin that just yet. It's my first time doing this. So, I thought the pins had to come through, and you had to put this on first and crimp it and then pull this down, but looks like you just push it through from the back, which is kind of what I thought it was, but I'm trying to get it apart, I'm doing it from the reverse. So, you slide that, these little terminals in, get the screen back. These little terminals, they go in one way, wire goes in there. So you slide them in this little tube, tool, which uh, is labeled, insert terminal, then wire from this side. And then you stick the wire in, and crimp it. And that's that. So I don't know if you can see in there, but there's little, little, uh, Little teeth that kind of come out and squeeze the little tube. Stick another one in. Stick a wire. Stick a wire in. And grab it. Not bad for my first time, huh? So it just plugs in the back. Black over here. And green under here. Slide the seal up in there. This is a very tight seal. I think this. Yeah, it'll work, but I'm I'm reusing one. So and then slip that in here. And I guess we're done.
pretty uh pretty neat connector well that's how you do them um the other side is probably pretty much the same it's just a different just a different type of plug that's all so that little green piece comes out and then they they go out the back so it's pretty much the same thing it's just they're all inside and they don't instead of uh like this one where the clip is on the outside all right so i'll show you how to how i took these apart so there was that little green one in there i just grabbed it with some needle nose pliers and pulled it out and put that aside and then inside here there's little little locking tabs right there. There's one. There's one one on each side. So I just reached in here and I I bent it back a little bit like that. Let's see if I can get so I get the light. So I came in here, I pulled it back a little bit, and then I pulled the wire to release the terminal. And I did that with all three of them. Bend that back and pull a little bit. No, that one came. I, I I had the other one released too, is why it pulled out so easy. So you just go along it. It's hard to kind of get it with the light. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pull just rub a boot off because I need it for the other wires. That there. We'll come in here and I'll strip these back. to do that after I put this on so we'll go right here go back over here Take a tool again, put the terminal end in, stick the wire in, crimp it down. It'll be easy to do it this way. These are the male, male ones. Voila. So, 
see how we get these in the wrong order. Close. But not accurate. All right. And then stick them up inside there until they lock in. little cone back in kind of keeps those little locking tabs from back being able to be moved back and up oh, and there it is Slide this boot back in there. And voila, one side done. It's pretty quick. Take the same thing on the other side with the corresponding plug. Tab, slide it over. One, slide the locking tab over two. Locking tab over three. If we can see in there. You see them, the three little tabs right there. These are those are the locking tabs, and then slide them out of the way, and then out it comes. Oh, pull our. Get off. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the ends on first and then I'll slide it in. They got like a little, little spring in there. There's something to bite on to the other ends. going to be black so obviously it's going to be the opposite so we're gonna have black green and red like that
See this one you can tell when you're in because it's all like flush at the top. It kind of clicks a little bit too. This goes are up in there. And then we will slide this in. Press that back up in there. And voila, connector is finished. Wired the correct way, hopefully. All right.